everybody and welcome to this energy update for what is today March the 7th 2017. So before we get started let's just take a few breaths together. And another. And one more. So we meet in what is a relatively peaceful time given the energetic climate of 2017 and the years preceding and to come. There is a lot of peace energy around at the moment and many of you will be feeling it. So in the video I recorded three weeks ago called Rise of the Light Workers, which if you didn't see it and this one resonates with you, you might want to check that one out. I spoke about this window of time that we're entering where connection energy and creativity energy was going to rise and we're right now three weeks into that six week window that I spoke about. So the coming weeks you should continue to see synchronicities, connections and creativity rise in you in actuality, not just in your mind or your desire or your intentions, but actually you should be meeting more people who feel like kin to you or who feel like somebody who is part of the next step, part of the next path. And I know that a question that many people have is, well, how do I know? How do I know when I meet somebody who is part of the next step? We have to listen and learn to listen really well as soul-led humans, and it's not always easy. So for example, you might have had a desire to, you might have put out a desire, I want to go into a completely different line of work and I would love to go into something that's a bit more business oriented and a bit less creative oriented and you just happen to go to a party and you start talking to somebody who either did that very thing or who themselves shares that they're in the business world. You might need to follow up with that person. This is the universe putting somebody on your path to show you, ah, here is a possibility, a possible thread you can follow. It doesn't necessarily mean they will be who you'll work with. It's a thread that you can follow and usually when we're focusing on a path or changing paths, a few different stepping stones will appear to help us get to where it is that we want to go. So connection energy is stronger. Creative energy is stronger than it was for the last few months. So this will be a really good time to birth, create and bring your visions to life. It doesn't mean you might not go through all of the things that you go through as a creator. You can have self-doubt, you can have hesitation, you can question is this really going to work but that's the mind and that's the fear body trying to protect us from either disappointment or failure and the truth is if we aren't here to live then what are we here for? So really if you have any hesitation about creating at the moment just throw yourself in and see what happens because the energy tide for that is very strong right now. And finally visions and intentions. It might be that for a long time you have wanted to change something in your life or bring something in or just in general you're still working on something that for the past year you've been focusing on. I really want to bring in a relationship or I really want to have a whole new level of peace in my life, a whole new way of experiencing my life. I no longer want to respond from stress. Hold those intentions really high at the moment because there's a very golden energy and it's not that this energy wave won't still be around in months to come but we have this particular window of time where there's a lot of light, a lot of gold and gold to me is always the color that symbolizes the fruition of abundance, the coming together of one's dreams, one's desires and that's really on the planet right now. To go back to something I said at the beginning, peace energy is also very strong. Now of course whenever an energy is strong we will see its opposition rising, that's part of the dance of energy. So look out for conflict energy in your immediate world or in the wider world to show up in the coming weeks. But peace energy whenever it gets strong it's an opportunity for deep healing. We either arrive in peace because we have cleared wounds or conflict from our life and suddenly we can enter a whole new era of peace or because we find a new level of peace it can catalyze 
some of that stuff to move out of the body. So really invite peace into your life and the planet at large at the moment as an active practice. You might wake and when you wake in the morning, you might say something along the lines of, I invite peace into my life today. I invite peace to the planet today. We are conductors of energy as much as we are in response to energy and participant with the energy ocean that's going on around us all of the time. So don't forget to conduct in the coming weeks. It's a very, very potent time. Finally, and this was coming to me just as I was coming to record this video, the era of limitation is getting a lot thinner for those of you who are soul-led, awake, or conscious. What I mean to say by this is if you've been changing yourself on an inner level for some time now or some years now, or you identify as being a light worker or someone who's here with a soul purpose, and really you connect to those higher self energies, those wider self energies, your best self, some would call it, if that's something that you keep a constant vigilant focus on, this is going to be an incredibly gifting time for you. This is going to be a time where so much of those deeper issues or issues that you feel have been with you for years, if you really stop and get present with the reactions that may come up around those issues or your ideas about them, you'll see that they are no longer existing in density in the same way as they used to. For example, if there's somebody in your life that you still haven't forgiven for something, and as soon as I say that on this video, you might go, oh yeah, that's that person or this person. If you really sit with your relationship to that person now, today, with who you've become, if you really just sit with it for a moment and go, how do I really feel about this person, about what went down, around what happened to me, you will notice some movement. You will notice some freedom that wasn't there before. This is because energy is moving so fast right now, we are transmuting faster than ever before. So this is a short energy update. It didn't feel like we needed to talk a lot today. It felt like it was a moment to connect with some of the energies that are there and they are fast, they are delicate, they are fine, but they revolve around the gold of connection, the gold of synchronicity, creating boldly and without fear. And as an, an arc with all of this, a greater energy of peace that will be available to us this next couple of months, but is just coming in now at the beginning of March as a collective thread. So you may not be resonating with what I'm saying right now, but you might find in a week or so, this energy of peace will find you and it may present itself as conflict. You may suddenly find yourself in a conflict and then realize you can let it go. You don't need to fight this person. You don't need to fight this incident. You can accept that it is happening. You can accept that it happened. You can feel into your wider heart and you can say, I invite peace to myself. I invite peace to this situation. And just sit for a few moments, breathe, and let the energy of the present take you. Because present moment living and present moment energy is very palpably available to more of us than ever before right now. So if you give a little time in your life to notice it, you will feel it. So I hope this invitation finds you well, and I hope you have a great few weeks until I do the next energy update. For those of you who've never seen me before or any of these updates, uh, my name is Lee, and uh, you can find all of the work that I do at leeharrisenergy.com. We have free downloads. We have a portal members club, which is a monthly members club where I do a Q&A session exclusively for portal members every month. Plus, we have an MP3 every month, a healing recording that is intuitive, energy-based, channeling-based, but always designed to give you a transformation. And if you would like to work with me in person, we have several upcoming events. My energy mastery retreats are a special intensive container that I create and design for 32 people maximum. We're doing these in Toronto, Los Angeles, and Norway. Toronto is April. Los Angeles and Norway are June. 
If you want to know more about the Energy Mastery Retreats, please check out the video on the Energy Mastery page. But in a nutshell, it's an opportunity for you to come and be with a small group of soul-focused individuals led by me and the team that I bring with me. Sound healers, movement experts, and a team of angels to really hold and nurture your transformation. Come to Energy Mastery with an intention. We will set it alight for you and then support you with the process as you go out into the world as a renewed, transformed person. It was great to be with you all today. Check out the website for more and big, big love. So as you let this abundance energy move through your body and consider what it is to you, see the faces of the people in your life who you know would greatly support you growing and becoming something, someone else other than they know right now. Let yourself see those faces. Some of them may surprise you. All who walk the earth Remember All who walk the earth Remember Release.